Anytime there's a Joe Knight Toys release, you know it's going to be great. Anything this guy makes will match LEGO style, even if it's not using the same template that they use for all their clones. He makes a wide variety of clone troopers from Commandos, ARC Troopers, and more, and they always look great alongside your official figures from LEGO. But in this wave, he has something I've never seen before. These are clone engineers. They wouldn't have been my first choice for the next type of clone he makes, but I'm really happy with them. So let's take a closer look at all of these guys. Starting with the regular grunt engineer. First thing I think we need to talk about is this helmet. This thing is awesome. It's pad printed on knockoff Lego parts, but that's because Lego doesn't make this mold. I don't really know why I said knockoff parts, but this thing is great. It does have some weird smears on some of the figures. Overall, I think it's perfect for what Jonak Toys is going for. And it looks even better on the figure. I always loved what Jonak Toys can do with just UV printing. I know it's not the highest quality of printing, but it's great how well he can make it look compared to Lego stuff. You could show me this figure without the arm printing and I would think Lego made it. One reason for that is look how good this figure matches an official Lego grunt. I mean, those legs literally look the same except for the printing quality. And I just think these arms look great even though it's not something Lego does. Give this guy some tools and he'll look great on any mock repairing a tank or something. I mean, just look how good he looks. He looks like he could be a real figure. In just a bit more detail, here's the 91st Recon Core version of the Engineer. He's basically the same except for he has some markings on his arms, torso, legs, and helmet. Speaking of the logo on the helmet, it is actually a decal, but it looks exactly the same. Unless you get really close, you can just kind of see how it's printed differently compared to everything else. It doesn't really bother me, and it's really easy to do if you have basic knowledge of decaling. This angle, the figure looks exactly like the Grunt Engineer, which I don't know is accurate because I've seen some stuff where they have a red shoulder pad on this side and others don't. I think this backpack from Clone Army Custom looks really good on the figure, although I think it would be better if it was the white one with the red detailing, because I think it just has a little too much red compared to the figure. Once you put the backpack on, I think it looks really good. This is probably my favorite figure in this video. I really like the 91st color scheme, even though it's very simple. I just like the logos they have. I really like how he looks with my other 91st Recon Core Troopers. The last figure I picked up from this Joe Knight Toys drop is the Shock Trooper version of the Engineer. This one was probably the most difficult to decal because it uses two very long, large decals. These are usually the hardest to apply, at least for me. I think I actually did a pretty good job applying these, but you can see that they're kind of tucked under the decal at some parts, and that's because when I was spraying it with the clear coat, it kind of lifted up. Here's a better look at the body and legs for the Shock Trooper. The legs are actually a new way of doing them. He used to print them on red legs, and I think this just looks a lot better. And here's a look at this full figure. I really love how the red looks, and it matches Lego very well. This guy matches really well with any of Joe Knight Toy's Shock Troopers, and I imagine he will look good with the new Shock Troopers. I just don't have those yet. While this one looks great, I don't know if you want to do this if you're not very good at decals because you can't really have the full figure unless you can do the helmet well. That's going to do it for this review. I really like making these videos for you guys and sharing my hobby with you. So if you guys like these videos and want to see me make more, please leave a like and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about these clone troopers in the comments below. Personally, I really like them and I think Joe Knight Toys should keep up the good work because he's doing great right now. I hope you enjoyed me rambling for three minutes, so I'll see you in the next one.